So what do you do when you get the error, data and reference should be factors with the same levels? Well, here, I'll walk you through it real quick. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have your libraries loaded, uh, the caret and the E1071. Uh, we're gonna be using the owner example data set. So load that up. All right, so we're gonna rerun the confusion matrix just as I have it in the slides. And we're gonna see that for some reason we get an error. Uh, we get this error, data and reference should be factors at the same levels. Well, the first thing you want to do is break it down. So if you look at a confusion matrix, uh, no matter what's written in there, there are two points. There are uh, the first part of the table, the predicted, separated by a comma to the actual. Um, and how you put those in there, if you're looking at this code, you're seeing that for the actual, you're just referencing the column from the original data set. Uh, and from the predicted, you have to convert the probability to a factor of owner or non-owner if it's greater than 0.5. Uh, looking at the data, you can see this again, that the class is in one column with owner, non-owner, probability is a numeric between zero and one. So in, the first thing we could do is use the table function to actually break that down. So first look at the predicted side, then look at the actual and see where the problem's occurring. Uh, in this case, if we run the table on the predicted side, we get the output non-owner uh, 11, owner 13. We look at the Actual, we see the non-owner and owner 12 and 12. It looks like it should match. The labels are the same, non-owner and non-owner, owner and owner, and also the totals across same. So 11 plus 13 is 24, 12 plus 12 is 24. All right, so those match, 24 and 24, owner and non-owner. So what's the problem? Well, if that's the case, the, the problem is that one of those probably is not recognized as a factor. All you have to do is put this as factor uh, in front of your um, you're predicted, so just wrap the entire thing around the as factor function, as you see here. You get this highlighter here, wrap it entire around it. You could do the same thing with the actual side as well, uh, which is probably what I would do in this case. And we run that, and we see that that, that works 87% uh, percent accuracy. Now, the other time you get it, if it's still not working with the as factor, that's probably when those two are not the same. So 11 plus 11, 11 plus 13 is 24. Uh, if that t does not equal the same as as adding this row, uh, that's often the case when you're using validation data sets, the full data sets, training data sets, any other type of cross-validation data sets, those numbers might be off just because how you're referencing it. So just go through and check the code again and make sure that in each of those you're referencing the same uh, data frame, the owner and the owner.